what is going on guys this is Carlos from everything tech and in this video I'm going to explain how to back up and install your own ps4 games so this only works when you've got the disc and you're gonna need about 40 minutes in total this video is about 15 minutes long because I sped most of the process but um, you're gonna need quite a bit of time especially if the game is large so make your way to your user manual as I just did go on to the firmware that you're on preferably 505 and go to dumper and there will be a message saying that dumper is started welcome to ps4 dumper and now it's time that you put your disk in that you want to uh, copy and put a usb drive in with at least 64 gigabytes preferably 128 gigabytes because i think even i chose this game specifically for the size uh, but the size packaged is about 20 gigabytes but when you actually when you actually copy it from the disk is 60 gigabytes so 64 gigabyte might not cut it so um it will tell you to open the disk and uh, and start the game so you start the game and then the process will start to copy the disk over to your USB so it says preparing to backup disk every so often you'll get a message on the top left of the screen saying to um, that it's uh, the percentage of what it's done so far uh, I've uh, fast forward this bit here but as you can see it's uh, every so often it will tell you you know it's 40 percent it's 50 percent and this will go on for i think like the first part of the process you are looking at the bar on a 60 gigabyte disk uh, and depending this this all depends on your specs as well so it's it's based on your um uh, on the how fast your usb drive is but this this process here i think is exactly the same for everybody else uh when because when you're copying from the disk um, it's going to take the exact amount of time when you're writing to the USB drive then obviously that's going to be a little bit quicker depending on what drive you've got if you've got a USB HDD or if you've got an SSD or even if you've got a, um, a USB flash drive that is fast um, but this process here takes about 20 minutes roughly 15 to 20 minutes until it starts copying over to the over to your USB flash drive so you'll see messages, message after message. I think it's about every two minutes or a minute, something like that. I will flash a, mes a message saying that um, your uh, the percentage of what it's copied, and then uh, when he when it reaches about halfway, it will uh, finish copying everything, uh, and then it will tell you right about here, start dumping. So it's dumping over to the USB now, and now it obviously depends on how fast your USB um, is. Uh, if it's a slow USB 2 drive, it's going to take a little bit of time. If it's um, if it's a fast USB 3 drive, then it's going to be a little bit faster. But I think there's limits, obviously, to the to how fast it can copy to the USB because of the ports on a PS4. So uh, you will see again many many messages saying um, that the percentage of what it's copied to your USB now. So it's actually writing to your drive. And this process here takes another 15 minutes at least. Uh, on my, I had a, a USB 3 drive, uh, 128 gigabytes, and uh, it, it's fast-ish. Um, it's uh, I think the maximum write speed is 110 megabytes per second, but I don't think it was hitting that fast. And it, even when I used it in Windows, it was hitting the maximum of 70. So. Um, I don't know if that's because it's formatted XFAT or if, if it's the type of file that you're copying in many little files inside of an imaged file I really don't know but um, the, this process here is going to take quite a while as well I sped up most of this video but still is going to take uh, even sped up you can see just how long it's taking and then you will get to a stage where um, where the game is fully backed up and uh, don't be alarmed that the PS4 will switch off after this process automatically it will just um, it will just say P uh, P PlayStation is switching off and it will switch off it's fine you can leave it off if you want to if you don't ha want to copy any other games you can just um, leave it off 
and remove your USB drive or turn it on, take the disk out and uh, remove your USB drive because now we're going to go over to the computer. Uh, I've left links in the description um, for the files that you're going to need. One of them is quite big, I think it's about uh, five, 600 megabytes. But on today's fiber connections, that's nothing, it's seconds. It's going directly from Mega, so it should be okay. So when you get to this bit here, you will see that the, there was a message saying decrypting selves and then another message saying PS, a PS4 is shutting down, which is about now, if I'm not mistaken. And after this, we're gonna go, here we go. So dumped shutting down. So uh, now we're gonna go over to the PC and I'm going to teach you what you need to do to uh, create the PKG. So uh, as you can see, I've, I've inserted now my USB drive onto the computer and um, it's gonna show up now. Uh, and it's gonna be, I think 60 gigabytes. Yeah, there you go. So 60 gigabytes out of 117 gigabytes. So that's how large the game is when it's dumped raw from the disk. So now we need to package this and convert these. And this is gonna take a while as well. You know, this video is gonna take at least 15 minutes, but the process, the whole process, yeah, 40, 40 minutes to an hour, I reckon. So you need to download those two files. Uh, one is Geng P4 and the other one is Fake. PKG generator and uh, they all the links are in the description and then you'll get these two raw files on a desktop so just unraw them and, and do everything on a desktop I think is, is easier make sure that you delete the things afterwards so you won't slow down your computer your computer's refresh of the desktop but you know while you're working it's okay to just save it on a desktop so extract both and you'll have two folders uh, the first one that we're gonna do is the um, Geng uh, P4 uh, Let me put them both next to each other. So let's open gang P4 and then we're gonna open it uh, and run as administrator um, Now we're gonna click on this little folder here and you find your USB drive So mine is H just click on top of the folder uh, of the first folder not the patch one and click uh, generate and then save, save GP4. And save it to the desktop as well, because it's much easier for you if you do it like that. So once you save it to the desktop, you'll have a very tiny file, but that's like a, a, a sort of a project file. Uh, don't worry about that, it's fine. Don't delete it, you need that file. So close uh, uh, GEC4. Uh, as you can see, the file is only a few kilobytes. It's nothing major but you're gonna need this file. This is your project file. So now open fake packet generator and open the one that says generator. You can see it. If you have to pause the video, just pause the video. Then what you're gonna need to do in here is go to file, which is on the top left and open, and then open your project. The one that you just created that is on a desktop. And then all you need to do is build. Click on build on the right hand side, and that will start, that will uh, bring up another window. And this window, just choose at the bottom where you want the image to go to. I chose the desktop anyway, uh, so you know I can delete it afterwards. And then just click build. And this process again is gonna take a little bit of time. I think um, it will take at least. Um, 15 20 minutes something like that 15 minutes maybe I sped up this part of the video there's no point you you uh, going through all of it it's bad enough that this video is 14 minutes but and then it will be um, as you can see in here I'm, I'm just showing you that yeah it's 60 gigabytes it's taking 60 gigabytes or it's got 60 gigabytes free but it's 120 um, gigabyte drive so yeah I don't think you will fit on a 64 gigabyte flash drive so let's speed up this part of the video again and um, and let's see uh, what we get. So you get a few errors along the way. Don't worry about that. That's normal like when it comes, it doesn't come, comes as a warning. 
uh, you got debug mes messages for in this program but you you've also got like red messages don't worry about that it's fine the the, the image is being generated it's all okay you don't have to worry about the red messages um, and then when it gets to um, I think it gets to about here uh, it's done so everything is, is been generated just close the program down uh, and close the one the one at the back and now the image size that it that it converted to package is 20 gigabytes so that's a, a lot better than you know the 60 gigabytes a lot more manageable than than the 60 gigabytes so now we need to copy this image over to a USB drive so let's uh, cut or copy the image to a USB drive so I'm gonna use the same drive I don't need it anymore so I'm gonna delete whatever it's inside of it uh, I don't need these files anymore and uh, I'm going to um, I'm going to make sure that you empty your your recycle bin because obviously that space is still being taken and then uh, let's copy it over to um, to this uh, flash drive because the next stage is to install it onto the PS4 uh, as a package. So again, this depends. This this one depends on your USB drive. Mine was here in about 70, 68 to 70 megabytes per second, and this will take about four minutes, four or five minutes, uh, no more than that. Uh, and um, yeah. It's just a matter of waiting. Loads of things that it, it depends on your CPU. Like when you convert in the file um, with a package uh, generator, fake package generator. That one it depends on your uh, on your processor speed. It depends on how much RAM you've got and how fast it is. Uh, and obviously, it depends on your flash drive as well. So now that um, it's finished copying it over to the um, over to the flash drive. Now we need to unmount the flash drive from the computer. And it's time to go back onto the PS4 and install the game now. So uh, safe to remove the, the the flash drive. Let's go back to the PS4. And now, assuming that you've already jailbroken your PS4, this doesn't include the jailbreak. If you if you haven't jailbroken your PS4, you need to jailbreak. Obviously, you can't even start this process if you haven't jailbroken your PS4. But you know, if you have to shut it down, you need to like re jailbreak it again. And then go to debug settings, go to game, go to package installer, and then you will see your uh, game in there. Obviously, put the, the USB that you've, um, that you've created into your PS4. And then this process again, it, it depends on the size of the game. On a 20 gigabyte game, you're looking at another four or five minutes to install this. These bits take, you know, the, the bits of copying and converting and things, what takes the longest. But, you know, uh, just remember that you won't have to do it again. So, um, and now when we finish copying, installing this onto the console, you'll be able to just take, you'll be able to take your disk out now. Uh, once this is finished installing, you can just take your um, USB flash drive out and let's try the game and, and see if it's, uh, if it's all installed properly. You get like a notification saying that your game has been installed. Uh, yeah, looks like everything is running properly. The game is uh, installed properly. And this is the process, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you did like this video, or if this video helped you, please give us a like and please consider subscribing so I can release some more content like this. Uh, also, please remember to click the bell icon so you get a notification every time I upload a new video. And um, I guess I'll see you in the next one. It's an exciting time for the PS4. Thank you. Bye-bye.